Hi, welcome to my channel about a metal systems robotics and fish technique. This video is about my hydraulic set made with fish technique, consisting on an automated part and a manually operated part. And last time I changed, replaced the screw pump. And in preparation of this video I had to adjust a little bit of this position with the piston because the upper side sensor went fine but the lower side didn't work out and then I noticed a loose wire and then I figured okay what's the loose wire about well actually this LED has come off this wire and let me lower the camera a bit and then uh, it turns out that I have to fix this one so how do I do it? Take off the wire and go to the soldering station or get to the soldering station here. I think I take this to the soldering station. So I have to take a screwdriver, take it off and go. And where do I take things off? Well, first of all, this LED is mounted in this red connector. So taking away red connector and away goes the resistor with the LED and then this wire which is unfortunately a little bit complicated because the screw is on the other side so I have to take it off which I don't like But it's the only way to do it. And then taking out the right wire, then everything comes off. So this one goes in here. And I have everything I need for soldering action. And then after the soldering is done, it's obviously time to remount everything. So let's get to that. This one has to go in here. And it maybe a menace this one as well as this one so this one goes to the common ground, then this one has to go in here, and that may not be as easy as it looks. Things come always off earlier easier than that they go in. Certainly with um, twisted cores as this one is. So better maybe this way. Then finally connect her back in. All right. Final touch. Running the software. See if that LED really uh, starts burning when this one is hit. Well, it already does. Uh, that one already is. Although you can't see it, but let's do it this way. In the meantime, outside there are groundsmen working, making noise. So, with this fixed, 
let's test the whole thing again. Now that part of the hardware is actually functioning again, let's run it completely. Which of course also applies to this rubber band. This runs nicely so far. And the propeller runs nicely, which doesn't mean it function it's functional in all ways. But this is the reaction for that one. So Let's see if this is working. No, it's not. Too much air. If I pull this up, there's a very big socket of air. So it's all gone. And uh, that means I have to refill to test. And um, is this one operational? And I better move the camera up close. like this and then lifting this should um, pull that one down well at least that one is working and as you can see this system is not really working out I really have to assist here and then I do mean right there Then this one stops. So it is kind of functional, but not entirely. Water has not entirely gone, but mostly. So, yeah. The things that have. Um, things that were broken have been fixed. What more can I do? Well, not really much. This is working. That means that this part is working, which means that the software is working. And some refill, as I've done many times before. Considering the hydraulics is um, filled with water, demineralized water, and some uh, other connections here, there is always something that will go wrong and has to be fixed. That's it for this time. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please do subscribe to my channel, give the video a thumbs up, leave a comment or, uh, or suggestion, click the bell for notification. You can also follow me via Twitter and Instagram. You can support via PayPal, Ko-fi and by becoming a patron. Please visit my website which is listed under this video to see more fish technique and better systems and robotics. This is maybe going to be continued. For now, have a great day, stay safe, take care, bye. And after saying goodbye, I had to um, make a slight modification because it kept going wrong suddenly. So now I have changed the footing, the foot setting, uh, enlarged the distance and connected it with two bars and now things are straight in a straight, um, in a straight line I mean and things do work out. So I'm going to show. That one works out. And that one works out. And this should actually be a little bit further down there.
that was better. So, no worries about missing the sensor anymore. 